Welcome back. Finally, today is a special day because I have been wanting to do another My Husband Watches for a while, but not only that, I have been wanting to do this particular film we're gonna do today for a very long time. We are doing Scarface. And I am so excited about this. I know you guys think that I don't see a lot of movies, but when I was a teenager, I had that infamous movie poster of Al Pacino where it's half black, half white, and he just looks fierce. This was like a favorite movie of mine when I was a teenager. I'm a little worried for Holden because anybody You're worried. That, You're worried for me. I'm worried for you because anybody that has seen this movie knows how risque it is on multiple levels originally given in x -ray. yeah that's right it's just dark it's gritty there's so much violence to it so many layers to it and tony montana what do you know about this movie and what are your thoughts going into it you mess with me you messing with the best i know that's not the actual line but it's a family friendly channel for the most part this is not a real gun either we just use this for props and stuff either so YouTube gods, not a real firearm, just looks like one. Oh, so you don't wanna subscribe? Okay! Yes, you'd be surprised to hear that I have not seen Scarface. Obviously, I know Scarface's impact on pop culture. I know the lines, the Tony Montana. I also know, uh, I, weirdly, uh, one of the best references I have for Scarface is when we watched Tiger King, when they go to that Mario guy. He was like, a lot of the stuff that was in Scarface was based on my life. He was like, I was going into the banks, doing all the counting, but it was just me, not a whole group of people. So, you know, I know a little bit from that, but I have not actually sat down and watched this. I did know about the X rating thing. I also know that he does a lot of cocaine in this movie. And there were rumors that Al Pacino is actually snorting cocaine. Were you gonna say that? Yes! Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Holden likes to steal my thunder. This I is the one I time know what you... I want to, because okay, this is sorry. Like, had been rumored for a very long time that Al Pacino had actually snorted cocaine. Now there's theories that it's powdered milk. However, Al Pacino has commented many times, whatever it was that he had screwed up his nostrils for a very long time. To your point originally about people saying you don't watch a lot of movies, does your wife live under a rock? If I have to see that comment one more time, I'm gonna lose it. Jen has actually watched a lot of like the early 2000s movies and a lot of older gang movies, surprisingly. Like, she showed me Casino for the first time. I hadn't seen that, we didn't film it. This was this was a while back, but I watched Casino for the first time. I still have not seen The Godfather. That's another one that people are pretty surprised that I haven't watched. About time, I am, I am more than ready to watch this one. I'm so excited, so that's where I'm at. So we cannot get started without doing the comment of the day. <laughs> this comment comes from our Mission Impossible 1 video. It's from Hitchcock is the goat. The way it was shot with unique camera angles was due to Brian De Palma directing. It's a style of his he used in Scarface, Carrie, The Untouchables, and Carlito's Way. He's very good at filming tension. The stairway scene with the baby carriage in The Untouchables comes to mind. Great comment. Uh, he definitely has his own style, and I think, again, it is just fierce, and that comes through on this movie. So, uh, with all that said, we are gonna go ahead and get started with Scarface. Oh boy. boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I'm, I, I hear it's like stylized violence, like Quentin Tarantino, where it's like really over the top and stuff. All right, well, that's no more coffee. <laughs> Can I give you a trivia? Can I give you a trivia? Sure, go ahead. So, because I know you're a big fan of Steven Spielberg. Well, of course, yeah. Um, so he... Oh, wait, I should probably read this. Steven Spielberg visited Brian De Palma on set, and he ended up directing one of the scenes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. See, I didn't know that. You got me. 207 uses of the F word, which at the time was the highest amount yeah. of any movie ever, which equates to about one F word every 1.2 minutes, <laughs> which we'll have to bleep out by the way. This video will probably be highly censored. Anytime we try and watch a movie like this that's like really grotesque in violence, or I don't know like the sexuality in this movie or not, but violence and language, even when we try to censor it, we still get dinged, like when we did Wolf of Wall Street. No, even with our heavy censoring. The Herogasm episode of The Boys, I think we got around that one. Oh, geez, blur it. Oh my God! 
Oh, that the, was the, so good. Basically, Wait a the minute. whole we thing. We got around that one? Well, the whole thing was basically blurred, except like we're just like cutouts, like watching <laughs> it. It's just blurry. It's gonna be a lot of, uh, of post-work. Antonio Montana. <laughs> and you? Classic. Huffy Bogart, James Cagney. James Cagney. You ever been in jail, Tony? Jail? No way. You like men, huh? You like to dress up like a woman? The f is wrong with this guy? Am I kidding me or what? Just answer the questions, Tony. You kidding me or what? Where'd you get the beauty scar, tough guy? Eating pussy? How am I gonna get a scar like that eating pussy? <laughs> 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 I don't know you told me to tell I told you. told me when I was in sanitation. I told you to tell him he was in a sanitarium. <laughs> <laughs> Should have kept your mouth shut anyway. Oh, okay. They'd have thought you was a horse and let you out. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be out of this place in 30 days. Green card and a job in Miami, man. Guy named Revenga, man. Emilio Revenga. He tortured a few guys to death. And one of the guys' brother, he was the favorite, babe. That's where we come in. You tell your guys in Miami, I kill a communist for fun. But for a green card, I'm gonna carve him up real nice. Oh. That Rebenga hit was a game of dominoes or what? Shut up, shut up, Mike. What's with this dishwasher, Tico? Don't be calling me no fucking dishwasher. I'll kick your fucking monkey ass along the way. <laughs> okay, okay, hey, all right, big man. You, you know something about cocaine? Cuño, I retire. What the? F okay. Crazy man. She's a hundred and three years old. She's a hundred and three years. <laughs> Money stays in the trunk till I come out. Entra, entra. Que te pasa, eh? I leave the door open, so as my brother knows everything is okay. Sure. I got it close by. But I don't have the money either, man. Bought the pinky ring. Yes, no, do you move us? You just yourself. It was a mistake. Who do I kill your brother first? This girl like actually disappeared. Like after filming. Has not been heard from since. What? Mira, watch what happened to your friend. Oh, jeez. My boy. You can die too, it makes no difference to me. Okay, Chicho. The boy, what other? Jeez. Ah. Oh. Freaking leather face over here. <laughs> Dude is sticking out right now. This would probably be a cool place to try to find like filming locations. Yeah. Oh. Bunch of senior citizens are just right there. I mean, it's pretty accurate to Florida. Yayo! Come on. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's a pretty funny dude. Yeah. <laughs> you on the job. Yeah. Going right through. You heard about that? I need a guy who's stealing his balls, Tony. Huh? Two keys. It cost my friend Angel his life. My gift to you. People will do business the right way. There'll be no f***ups like this. Spends half our life dressing. The other half, undressing. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Hit the wall. You could have angels flying out here. <laughs> Close to the likes of her. Oh, forget her, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michelle Fife's. Yeah. Glenn Close was going to be casted, but didn't really meet the oh. hotness mark. Oh, that's sad for Glenn. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Glenn. <laughs> there was some family guy 
You are the hottest woman I've ever met named Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> the Babylon. I feel like this era invented the pink ring. <laughs> Lesson number two, don't get high on your own supply. Because not everybody follows the rules, huh? Something big next month. Y'all, personal space. No, we're getting real close. You want me to dance? Yeah, sure, go on, Tony, you dance. <laughs> this is such like an awkward like this feels awkward well and having like a full conversation while you're like uh, yeah, dancing. yeah aren't you part of the cuban crime wave what you talking crazy for i'm a political <laughs> <laughs> got a look in your eye like you haven't been in a year hey jose i'm not your baby not yet, man. You gotta give me some time. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be the last thing I'd ever So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> that looks like uh, one of our beach. Yeah, our beaches. This town like a great big place waiting to get f off. <laughs> All right, Tony. You know how you pick up chicks in this country? What the f***? <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Would you kiss me if I wear the hat? No. I do know that this uh, was improvised by him putting the hat on. I want you to see what a good boy I be. It's a thousand dollars. What did you kill for this, Antonio? Mama. I didn't kill nobody, Mama. All we hear about in the papers is animals like you. Mm. Killings. He was a bomb then, and he's a bomb now. Oh, mama. I don't need your money. Gracias. I mean, props to mom. Yeah, good for you, mama. Take this lousy money with you. She was like, uh, we can actually <laughs> use that money. I'll take it, ma. Woman of principles, integrity, I like that. Somebody who can guarantee to buy from me, say, 150 kilos a month. Oh, it's too bad Frank's not here. You should talk to him. Yes, it would have been nice if he could have come. You guarantee your delivery, we take it from now. It's <laughs> <laughs> a creepy dude. He was in uh, Ace Ventura. Oh. <laughs> you need to open your eyes and keep your mouth shut. That's it, let it go at that. Frank's authority to buy 200 keys. That's it, that's my limit. Maybe you should talk to Frank. My associates here can escort you to my chopper. My chopper can take you to Santa Cruz. Why don't you leave your friend here? When you're gone, maybe he can tell me how to run my business. Huh? This scene is your lunch. I like you, Tony. There is no lying in you. I do not feel the same about the rest of your organization. What do you mean by that, Mr. Sosa? Several years ago in New York, he was an informer for the police. Jeez. Oh, what a way to go. Being hung by a helicopter. Terrible. <laughs> I never like him. I never trust him. Don't you ever try to f me. Oh, there's a episode of South Park and the KFC thing that, that that's from. We make 75 million on this deal, Frank. There's gonna be a war in the street. Relax, take it easy. Interesting how the power dynamic just, just changes. changing, yeah. It's on your own. I buried those cockroaches! It's like you talking to AT&T. <laughs> the guys who last in this business, the guys who fly straight. You finish? Oh, Andy's gonna take his woman. I heard you and Frank aren't working together anymore. Mr. to the land of opportunity. With the right woman? No Nothing else. He's relentless. Yeah. Oh boy. Chief Detective, not got us. What are we gonna talk about? I ain't killed nobody. Never giving you the information. It's taking you for a long ride. The word on the street, Tony, is you're bringing in a lot of yay. How much? Big number. Yeah. It's on a monthly basis. Same thing every month. We tell you who's moving against you. Shake down who you want shaking down. Got eight killers with badges working for me, and when they hit, it hurts. It's so corrupt. I hate this crap. 
How do I know you're the last cop I'm gonna have to grease? Oh, that's not my business, Tony, you know? He's got a pinky ring himself. Yeah, they all do. Dude, what's your five year old girl? That's what I'm doing. Right? Oh, you go do a something. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna do something? You're f***ing right and going to do something. Looking good, honey. Keep up the bad work. Uh oh. I wonder if this is where Quentin Tarantino got the uh, Kill Bill thing from. Like the. Up! Up! I mean, I can't blame Tony. <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> My kiss sister in a toilet? Hmm? Oh, Tony. That's not the way to go. I think Icarus is flying a little too close to the sun, Tony. Another great night here at the Babylon, right? Okay. Who's that? I recognize him. That's for you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He looks different. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, he, he passed away? Yeah. Oh man. I love him. He was a good detective. Uh oh. By taking her to the toilet to make out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hero. What word? <laughs> to a T. Uh, Miss Rachel's on. There he is. <laughs> what about a you? lawyer. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. So smart. Jeez, you're gonna kill all these guys all at one time. Jesus. I bet it was the Diaz brothers. They got beef going back to the sun right now. We're gonna return the favor for you. Spades! No, I take care of this myself. Cockroach. What are you talking about? Come on, you listen to me, huh? I was the one who believed in you. I stay loyal to you. Well, you were trying to get with his wife like right away. <laughs> or his girlfriend. You're right. This give me second chance, huh, Tony? Jeez. Please, Tony. Die. I never did nothing to nobody. Never did nothing to nobody. Jesus, get out! No! Oh, I will kill you. Oh, Christ, thank you. No! 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 Every dog has his day. Huh, Mel? I told him. Go too far, Tony. Hey, not, Mel. You are. <laughs> Oh, oh, in the stomach. So long, man. Have a good trip. F you. you. Want a job, buddy? Sure, Tony. Hey, man. You got a job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I guess you're single now. There's like a best friend montage. Big in the soundtrack too. <laughs> hey, you did it, Tony. You married her. Rest in peace, Frank. R.I.P. Frank. Michelle. Twice as much as I ever did before. Well, Tony, sweetheart, we're not a wholesale operation. We're a legitimate bank. Talk to me, I man. Talk. Come on. I go low, you go high. Look, I know the game. I How's married life treating you? Better than you are. <laughs> <laughs> Since when does it take three days to wake a cable? What, you've been watching it for three days? I think it's been there for three days. What am I going to do, not look at it? <laughs> Let me say something, okay? What? You're spending a lot of money on this counter surveillance stuff. It makes me sleep good at night. That's what counts. Nothing exceeds like excess. You should know that. What if, why do you have to talk to me like that all the time, Frank? <laughs> awesome. By legalizing and taxing them, that will drive out the organized crime element. Yeah, they've been saying this for years. I am not. Stop talking about money. It's boring, Tony. Where did you call it from, Mike? <laughs> Frank never talked about money. Oof. You're an immigrant millionaire. Can't stop talking Who the about f you money. Calling this 
Randall or how he's getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you are an asshole, man. Come here, give me a kiss. Come here. Come here. Who do I trust? Me! I like that tub. picture down at Colombia. Get him up! Get your hands up! Put your hands against the wall, turn around. You're not kidding. Oh. Oh, that's pretty good, man. Where'd you get up? <laughs> I'm changing dollar bills, that's all. Do you want to waste my time? Okay. By tomorrow morning, you're going to be working in Alaska. What am I looking at? Then? Five years, you'll be out in three. Maybe less if I could. Country was built on Washington. Hey, it can't be that bad, you know. It's not like Cuba, you know. Hey, what the f You have a problem, Tony. I think together we can solve all our problems. We have some friends in Washington that assure us these troubles can be taken care of. Alejandro Sosa, a very interesting character. Drug overlord of an empire that stretches across the Andes. Scheduled for 60 minutes next. That is our problem. I got a f***ing junkie for a wife. Her womb is so polluted, I can't even have a f***ing little baby with her. Aww. How dare you talk to me like that? What kind of a father do you think you are? Come on. Get the let her go, let her go, man. You're all a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> you don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. You're not good. You just know how to hide. So say good night to the bad guy. Last time you're gonna see a bad guy like this again, let me tell you. Tony, everything go okay? Yeah, everything is well, sis. You don't tell me what to do, here. Yeah? Coming out. Oh. She told me she took the kids in the other car. She did, boss. Hey, no f way. That's it. Sing Mue, sing Ejo. Guy. Okay, I see him, all right? I see him. Come on, let's do it. Now you feel good, huh? Give a mother and a kiss, huh? Now you feel big. You die, motherfucker! Oh. What'd you think? I have a worm like you? He's like dead. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you now. <laughs> and when I get back there, I'm gonna kick some ass all over that fucking place. And Sosa has been ringing every half hour on the 11 line, Tony. He sounds pissed. Oh, come on, come on, go ahead, get him, get him, let's go, come on. <laughs> Oh, we had some problems, you know. My friend gave a speech today at the UN. He was not supposed to give that speech, Tony. For that one too, that line. My partners and I are pissed off, Tony. It's okay, no big deal. <laughs> they found what was under the car, Tony. Who the f did I have to f come for? You wanna go to war? It's me and AT and T. Hey, he's not there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Tony, what are you doing, man? Oh, he's got a wedding ring on? We got married just yesterday. Oh! Tony! Tony. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get out of here, Doc. Go oh, man. You slipping tones. Tony, I can't believe you did that. To be fair, Here we go. I think the combination of all the events that are going on at the same time. Oh, that makes it less worse. Oh, no! I'm not saying I condone it. <laughs> Such a classic shot, too. Oh, Ernie. This guy brought a freaking grappling hook. I'm waiting for the day to get to use that. They're taking out everybody. He probably could have just gone through the front door. Isn't this his sister? Okay, I just want to make sure I got that right. You can't stand for another man to be touching me. What's your Tony? Here I am, Tony. Oh. Hey. Oh. oh. Come on, I just 
Oh! He honestly just saved his life. I love you. The Terminator over here. These are some loyal hired guns. Jeez. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, classic. Okay, to London. Huh? Okay. I mean, the fact that he's taking out as many yeah. people as he is. Maybe he is the best. Ooh. Uh, it's the Terminator. Oh. Tony. Oh. Tony. Honestly, they could have just sent that guy, and I think they would have been good. <laughs> Oh man, all right. Does uh, Nick Fury show up at the end? Let's see. No. We just finished Scarface. All I'm gonna say is I feel like this is a true example of a fall from grace movie. Biggest aspirations in coming to America and it was a very long journey for him and it did not end well. So I wanna know, what did you think about Scarface? I really liked this movie. This was a great movie and I, I love and hate that because I hate that because I wish I would have watched it a long time ago. It's one of those feelings. I love Tony Montana. He was so freaking funny. He's like the kind of guy like I feel like I would get along with in real life. Like just like the way- A drug dealer? <laughs> no, drug no, no, kingpin? I was just like, what are you talking? Just like the way his personality I, I thought was really, really great. And then yeah, seeing his slow uh, progression upwards like when he was like washing dishes initially, and then becoming this drug crime boss, kingpin, destroying everything in his life. And then his mom early on was warning him about that, and uh, it, it's true, he destroyed everything. There wasn't as much like cocaine as much as, as I was expecting. I thought that this like, yeah, they were like doing little snorts or whatever throughout, but it was more of like a side thing to just kind of explain Tony Montana's growth to power. I really liked his small entourage of people and the movie I feel like can kind of be broken up into different sections, almost like every hour is a different, like part one, part two, part three. The first part where he comes to America and he's really, really poor and then he's kind of becoming stronger friends, stronger in unity with some of his crew. And then when he's like that journey to power is beginning where he's like getting into the, getting involved and he meets Frank and the cop dude. And, and then finally where he's the one that's in control and he's the one that's in power. I know I mentioned in the reaction a couple of times where he's like Icarus, he flew too close to the sun, killing Manny. And then that really weird scene with Gina where he's like, you want me, Tony? And I was like, did I, did I mishear their relationship earlier? That's happened before. I was like, is that not his sister or something? <laughs> uh, so, oh yeah. But uh, overall, I really, really enjoyed it. I am really glad to hear that you enjoyed it. I was a little nervous just because this movie is so violent. Your you, personality, sometimes those can be emotionally tolling, but I'm really glad- It just depends, you know. <laughs> I'm really glad that you like it. I agree, Tony Montana is like, his character is just a whole mood. Al Pacino played him perfectly. Just the, the mannerisms, the way that he talks. I love that this movie not only focused on Tony Montana, the drug kingpin, but it also focused on Tony Montana, the son. Tony Montana, the brother. Tony Montana, the best friend of Manny. And you see how Every single one of his choices, there's a decline in every relationship, every interpersonal relationship he has. His choices don't just affect him at the end of the day. He died at the end, but also 
every single person that he cared about. While I don't agree with his life choices, I think that at his core, he set out to do the right thing. He wanted to be somebody. Scarface, Casino, Narcos, all of those movies and TV shows, they all had the same core story. You know, wanting to have things in your life to make yourself happy, to make your family happy. It just never turns out well. But um, I love the story. I think the journey is a lot of fun. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. What would you rate it? One other thing I, f I forgot to mention, I know it's polarizing even today still, but you know, there he's, he's like, I hate these communist Cubans and you know, I wanna be a capitalist cause that's the land of opportunity. And then the irony is that once he actually was successful in capitalism, albeit illegal, where he, that whole bathtub scene, you know, where he's has it all, he has everything. And he's talking about, pointing, he's making 10, $15 million a month pointing at the TV and be like, these are the bad guys, always stepping on the little people. And yet here he is stepping on whoever he needs to step on, kill whoever he needs to kill, treating his best friend and his wife like garbage, telling him to get out. Corruption is just innately human. And there's a real, that one scene is absolutely fantastic, that dinner scene where he's like, what is it all, what's the point? <laughs> he's like, I'm, I'm making all this money, I got everything just to eat food and drink wine. And I'm like, yes. You're so close, you're almost there. And compare that to his mother, who in the first movie, he throws her $1,000 blood money, as she considered it, ashamed of him. Because he's not understanding what real, I know this, is, this sounds so flowery, but what's really valuable, what's really important, what profits a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? Superficially, Tony Montana had had everything. He even says that to Sosa, whatever Sosa, whatever his name is. It's like you have everything a man could want. You got the wife, you got the money, you got the power, you got the things, you got the stuff. But you, but he sacrificed his relationship with his best friend. He sacrificed his relationship with his wife, with his mother, with his sister, and in the end, he dies alone amongst the destruction of his own making. So anyway, that's a, it might be a little too much into it, but I love that, I, you know, so that on top of Tony Montana being so funny, the violence was, I mean, it's fun violence. It's not like grotesque, except for the first like sawing scene. Like there's a difference of like- Such an infamous scene uh, Yeah, the there, There's a difference in violence of like saw versus like Django Unchained where it's like, it's fun to watch, you know. But for me, I absolutely love this movie. I'd give this movie a solid 9.5. I am glad to hear that. I love this movie so much because on the surface, it's a gangster film. There is, you know, violence, drugs, sex. So it's hard to believe that there are some like core lessons within that movie, but there are. He can't see things for what they are. He can't see the important people in his life. Manny pointed out, hey, your wife is right. You know, you are a hole. You know, you cannot see things. And he's trying to tell him. At that point, we all could see that Tony Montana could no longer differentiate between reality and what he believes he was doing, trying to acquire wealth and, and happiness and everything. I think that those are the best journeys when it comes to movies and television. Absolute 10 for me. Well, that is another husband watches for the first time in the books. We'll be thinking about what we should do next. I'm thinking maybe Con Air. Let me know what we should do next for my husband watches. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe. Check out Patreon as well. We have a whole bunch of exclusives over there. But that's it for now. We'll see you next time.